Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Wandering Joe's Fly Fishing. Uh, in today's episode, I want to be able to see if I can help you improve your dry fly game. And so I know a little while ago I said I wasn't going to do tips and tricks, but the footage I got from this day of fishing just screamed, Joe, make this episode. Um, and so that's what I'm doing. And I went to my favorite river, and just like in the second episode I ever made, um, I'm rounding this bend and I start seeing some topwater action. And so the topwater action I'm seeing is like this. And so when trout are really aggressive and they're jumping out of the water, what that tells me, and what I saw too with my own eyes, what bugs were there, is that they're after caddis, right? Uh, and so I tie on a caddis and I throw it and I get rejected. And so tip number one is if you get rejected by a trout, it means you have the right fly, you don't have the right size. And so what I did was I knocked it down to size and then this happened. Got him! Ah! And so even though I lost this guy, what this told me was that I was on the right path. And so I made some casts in some other places. And then finally, I net my first one. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, finally. How wild brown. This is what we've been after all day this is what we've been after all day long nice wild brown thank you mr brownie thank you so much so i end up throwing this caddis a lot more uh, I end up, up getting rejected by another trout, um, but he's not only jumping in the water like this, but he's also sipping rises. And I wish I could show you the rejections, uh, and I wish I could show you the sips, but this tail water makes the water really murky sometimes, and unfortunately, I couldn't see any of it on the film. But because he was sipping, and because it's October, one of the things that told me is that, you know, maybe he's eating something called a BWO, which is a blue wing olive. And so, what I decided to do was tie on one of those guys, and I got rejected again. <laughs> um, so, I decide to use tip number one. I make my caddis a size smaller, I throw it out to them, and then this happens. Got him. Got him. Ah, what happened? And so again, even though I didn't net the fish, what this told me is that like, I'm on the right path. I threw this caddis in other spots, in other sections, all over the place, and there was nothing. But the fact that that trout rejected that BWO told me that maybe they're also eating mayflies, but maybe they're eating a different color. So tip number two is, if you think you have the right fly, change the color. And so I changed the color to the same size Parachute Adams. I went from like green to gray. And then this happened. Well guys, I put on a super small Parachute Adams. And this is the result. I got one. I got one. Oh man, it's another brown. It might finally be on some trout. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. All right. Off he goes. So now that's two more trout in the net than I had beginning and two more hookups, um, which is really good news. I decide that I'm gonna change spots. Um, and while I was there, I left my dry fly box in the car because I figured, nah, the hatch is done. 
on that side, it's over, and boy was I wrong. Things were hatching all over the place. But what ended up happening is, is there were a bunch of midges, there were some caddis, but there was also a pretty large white mayfly. And I didn't have a white mayfly in my box, but what I did have was I had a larger parachute atoms, which imitates a larger mayfly. So tip number three is if you're gonna try and imitate a fly, get the size correct and get close, right? Um, and then tip number four is make sure you have a good drift. The reason that is is because this parachute Adams was nowhere near a white mayfly, but it caught these two guys. Got one. Got some. Got the smallest brown trout. Seven. Got him. Hey guys, I didn't have my GoPro going because I ran out of battery. Um, but caught another rainbow. Caught another rainbow. All right guys, let's release them. So because we're still in uh, the 100 fish in 100 days episode, uh, we are up to trout 86 because the next section, I'm gonna show you the other four that I caught on uh, a bobber nymph. And there's the first one. There's the first trout. There's the first guy. And he took my buddy's meth head. And he looks like stocked rainbow. All right. All right. Well guys. We aren't getting skunked. 20 left to go. 20 left to go. Adios. Well, guys. That is two. Nice little stocked rainbow. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. All right. Number two. Yes! Wow!
There he is, guys. There he goes. So anyway, guys, I caught four more trout than I would have if I kept just doing the bobber nymphing, right? And so what I want to say is, is uh, challenge yourself to try different techniques and try new things. And, and uh, because sometimes, like this, for instance, produced real results for me. And so if you like this type of episode where I do some of the tips and tricks and whatever, leave that in the comments below. Uh, if you have any suggestions for things you'd like to see me do or talk about or narrate, leave those in the comment section below. As always, if you like the video, smash the like button. Uh, if you feel so inclined, subscribe to the channel. And as always, guys, be well, and I'll see you on the next one.